Chapter two. Looky here, said Norton Threemonger as soon as Rob stepped onto the school bus. It's the Kentucky Star. How's it feel to be a star? Norton stood in the center of the aisle, blocking Rob's path. Rob shrugged. Oh, he don't know, Norton called to his brother. Hey, Billy, he don't know what it's like to be a star. Rob slipped past Norton. He walked all the way to the back of the bus and sat down in the last seat. Hey, said Billy Threemonger. You know what? This ain't Kentucky. This is Florida. He followed Rob and sat down next to him. He pushed his face so close that Rob could smell his breath. It was bad breath. It smelled metallic and rotten. You ain't a Kentucky star, Billy said, his eyes glowing under the brim of his John Deere cap. And you sure ain't a star here in Florida. You ain't a star nowhere. Okay, said Rob. Billy shoved him hard. And then Norton came swaggering back and leaned over Billy and grabbed hold of Rob's hair with one hand and with the other hand ground his knuckles into Rob's scalp. Rob sat there and took it. If he fought back, it lasted longer. If he didn't fight back, sometimes they got bored and left him alone. They were the only three kids on the bus until it got into town and Mr. Nelson, the driver, pretended like he didn't know what was going on. He drove staring straight ahead, whistling songs that didn't have any melody. Rob was on his own and he knew it. He's got the creeping crud all over him, said Billy. He pointed at Rob's legs. Look, he said to Norton, ain't it gross? Uh-huh, said Norton. He was concentrating on grinding his knuckles into Rob's head. It hurt, but Rob didn't cry. He never cried. He was a pro at not crying. He was the best not crier in the world. It drove Norton and Billy Threemonger wild. And today, Rob had the extra power of the tiger. All he had to do was think about it. And he knew there was no way he would cry. Not ever. They were still out in the country, only halfway into town, when the bus lurched to a stop. This was such a surprising development to have the bus stop halfway through its route that Norton stopped grinding his knuckles into Rob's scalp and Billy stopped punching Rob in the arm. Hey, Mr. Nelson, Norton shouted. What you doing? This ain't a stop, Mr. Nelson, Billy called out helpfully. But Mr. Nelson ignored them. He kept whistling his non-song as he swung open the bus door. And while Norton and Billy and Rob watched, open-mouthed and silent, a girl with yellow hair and a pink lacy dress walked up the steps and onto the bus. <laughs>